Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm going to wait for some people to pop on, obviously. I'm just going to kind of get my makeup all situated. Hi, friends. Hello friends. It is so stormy. Oh my gosh. And I'm trying to talk kind of quiet because Easton is napping. Hi Tanya. Hi Alexandra. Hi Cassie. I hope I'm loud enough. I'm trying to be kind of quiet because Easton's napping. Um, so just turn the volume up <laughs> on your phone. I'm going to be doing a, um, a really fun makeup tutorial today using some of our new products I'm really excited about. And I finally got my butt in gear and, oh no, Tanya, I hope you're doing, I hope your family's okay. I am praying for you. Safety in Jesus name. Okay, good, Sarah. Um... But I'm going to be using one of our new liquid lipsticks. Um, oh, yay, Catherine, I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to be using one of our new liquid lipsticks. Um, if you guys watched, I did like a swatch video. If it's still floating around Facebook, I'll try to reshare it so that you guys, presenters or customers, can go through and kind of see what... Um, what liquid lipsticks you like. But this is the shade I'm gonna be wearing today. Um, it's called Spontaneous. It's a really pretty purple. And I'm gonna be pairing that with Palm, uh, Pompous um, lip liner. So I'm really excited for that. And I'm gonna be using, we just launched a new cream shadow and it is completely matte. Uh, the shade is called Victorious. So I'm really, really excited. How gorgeous is that? I'm super excited. So I'm gonna be, um, kind of playing around with some new products and yeah so we will just go ahead and get started oh yay Kate very exciting um, okay so we're just gonna go ahead and get started um, I already washed my face I used our um, pore purifying cleanser and then I toned my face with my um, rose water <coughs> so I used some of this and then um, I went in with my um, <clears throat> I'm like getting over a cold, so I apologize. And then I went over and I used our hydrating day cream and, um, our glorious primer. I've been liking doing that combination of skincare before doing my makeup because I feel like if I, if it, if I give myself some time to let that like soak into my pores and really saturate into my skin, my makeup looks a lot better. So um, use that tip when you're doing your makeup next time. Um, wash your face like as soon as you wake up in the morning and moisturize and tone and use your primer and everything. Even if it's not unique, just try doing that and see how your makeup looks. So I'm going to be going in with my BB Flawless. You guys know I am so obsessed with this. I honestly use my BB cream more than I use my Liquid Touch foundation. And to be completely honest, um, if you are you if you have like an awesome skincare routine, um, you really shouldn't even need to use our Liquid Touch foundation unless you want like really really want that extra like BAM um, of coverage um, just for every day if you are like kicking butt at your skincare routine and doing your you know washing your face in the morning and washing your face at night and using the right moisturizers and the right toners and all that kind of stuff your skin should be in good enough shape that just enhancing your complexion is all that you need so I love this BB flawless cream I use the shade honey it has a natural SPF in it it's super moisturizing and hydrating which I really love especially during like the fall and winter months because my skin tends to be um, a little bit more dry in this season so I just take it on my fingers and I just kind of work it in between my fingers and I just blend it. Yes, I self tanned, Catherine. Um, gosh, I had been so, I've been like fighting a cold for what feels like eternity and I had just been so lazy. Um, and I was like, finally last night, I was like, Ugh, I just need to self tan because I'm almost always self tanned and when I'm not, I feel like so weird. I don't feel like myself. Welcome everyone. 
So I'm just blending my BB cream in with my fingers. Um, and I really like doing this on days where I'm like running out the door and I don't really have a lot of time. Make sure that whenever you're applying products to your eyelids or your under eyes that you're being like really careful and you're just not like tugging on the skin too hard. Oh yay, Crystal! I've been loving all of your um, pictures lately, Crystal, with all of your fun liquid lipsticks. Okay. Oh, I haven't watched it yet, Julie. What do you self-tan with? I actually self-tan with um, um, the Unique Self Tanner. I use the lotion. And I am obsessed. It is so amazing. Um, I apply it like on a tanning mitt. And then I just rub it all over my body. I love it because it's really easy to apply. And um, you don't have to be like really careful with like blending and stuff. You like literally just like wipe it all over your body. <laughs> oh, thank you, Chelsea. I got my hair um, colored like a couple Fridays ago. Um, I use taffeta. I kind of switch back and forth between taffeta. Um, liquid foundation and like when I'm really tan I can wear chiffon liquid foundation and then when I'm not so tan like when I'm really pale um, I can wear velour hi husband of mine try skinny tan you will love I do not have a video for it yet Leanna I feel like uh, Heather I use our self tanner the unique self tanner and I love it Where do you get your clothes and accessories? <laughs> Goodness gracious, uh, do you use the lotion on your face too or the spray? Um, usually, Catherine, I use the spray, but I ran out of the spray, so I just use the lotion. And my hands aren't orange or anything, which I love. Um, my clothes, hey, no job means watching your video. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I shop at like a series of different places. I love shopping online, so any like fun, inexpensive online boutiques and stuff um tj maxx ross i think i got i got this shirt at ross target obviously because i think every girl shops at target <laughs> oh my gosh liana the um the lotion is so easy to use so easy Oh yeah, Yolanda. I love the BB cream during the winter. Okay, so that's about it. And honestly, um, I don't really have a lot of breakouts right now, which makes it a little bit easier. I have like this one blemish right there, and then I have a couple that have been healing for a while right there. Hi, Heidi! Yes, you can grab a mitt. Um, Leanna, I got my mitt at the tanning salon that I spray tan at. They sell them there. But you can buy mitts on Amazon. You can get them at Ulta. Basically like any beauty supply store. So our BB cream is all set. And honestly, I could just fill in my eyebrows a little bit and like pop on like a quick coat of mascara and some lip gloss and I'd be like good to go. Um, I'm going to go in with our concealer. I am so obsessed with this stuff, you guys. I'm not kidding you when I say this is like probably one of my favorite unique products and it's a product that I use every single day. So this is our Skin Perfecting Concealer. Um, I use the shade Velour. I can kind of hop back and forth between Velour and Scarlet. Um, Scarlet's the lightest shade. I just kind of uh, blend it between my ring fingers and then I apply it that way. I like applying it with my fingers and then blending it in with like a, a sponge, but you can honestly, you could even just blend it in with your fingers. So whatever works for you. And then you want to just make sure that you apply it under your eyes and then you kind of bring it out onto the top of your cheekbone and then kind of bring it down the sides of your nose and then just kind of fill it in. So it's going to create kind of like an upside down triangle shape. Um, oh yeah, Julie, I will try to 
watch it when I'm done with this. So I am just blending in my concealer with my ring finger. Again, anytime that you are um, applying makeup or skincare or anything under your eyes and on top of your eyelid, you want to make sure that you are using like a very soft touch because that skin is really, really thin and delicate. And then I always make sure that I apply a little bit of concealer to my actual eyelid. And then same on the other side. You know, you're just kind of doing patting motions. I try to pat more than like rub because I want to actually like blend the product into my skin. I have been like so MIA from social media lately. I mean, not completely MIA, but more than I usually am because Easton has just had like the worst cold and it hit all of us. My husband was sick, I was sick. So I'm grabbing a little bit more of that concealer and I'm gonna apply some to my chin. And then um, we'll apply some on our upper lip, down the bridge of our nose, and the center of our forehead. Um, but yeah, my husband was sick. Easton, poor Easton, he's been sick for like a week. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, he's awake right now. <laughs> he's in his crib trying to nap. Oh yay, good. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's been sick and, oh gosh, you know, when your kids are sick, they're either super naughty or they're super clingy. It's kind of hard to tell. But like the first like four days that he was sick, he was just like misbehaving and just obviously he was acting out because he didn't feel good, but he was like a total handful. And he didn't nap. Like the first week that he was sick, he didn't nap all week. And I didn't really know that he was sick yet. Ugh. So that was a little hard. How did you transition him to a crib? I have a nine month old and I need to make the transition. Um, no, 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 you're fine, Cassie. Um, my mother-in-law, I actually lived with my mother-in-law when we like really, mm, no, he was actually already sleeping in his room. I mean, in his crib. I mean, to be completely honest, Easton never really was like a co-sleeper. He's always pretty much been a crib baby. Um, so it really wasn't that hard. Like I kind of had to transition him into his crib because he just wasn't sleeping well with us. He was like super restless. And then as soon as I put him in his crib, he was like done. He was out. I mean, he still like woke up in the middle of the night because he wanted to nurse and stuff. But you know, he's kind of always been a crib baby so it was it, honestly it made my life easier when I put him in the crib because he just likes having like his space and he likes having like his blankets and um, I know they say you're not supposed to put a pillow in your baby's bed but um, when I first started putting him in his crib I just put his boppy in his bed and um, I just kind of like would kind of like sit him up on his boppy and that really helped him sleep. But whatever works for you. There's like a million things that you're not supposed to do. And I'm pretty sure I've done like every single one of them. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to apply a little bit more concealer on the areas that I'm kind of breaking out a little bit. And that's one of the things that I love about this concealer, you guys, is that you can use it to conceal, highlight, brighten, um, you know, kind of spot conceal and it is just like super super full coverage okay and obviously like I can't conceal a bump but I can conceal the redness which is fine by me okay so now I'm gonna go in with some of my NYX HD powder you guys know I am obsessed with this stuff I'm gonna use a little beauty blender and just pop it on the beauty blender and then blend it underneath my eyes. 
I've been really liking blending in my concealer with my finger and then applying the powder with my beauty blender. Uh, Haley, I would do like one to two shades lighter. So I would do like the lightest I would go would be velour. I wouldn't go any lighter than velour. Okay, so I just set that. And that basically is just gonna kind of guarantee that my makeup's not gonna move all day. And you could definitely do this with a um, brush. I just really like the coverage that I get from using like a sponge. But whatever works for you. And you guys, I've been trying, I've been feeling like super, super bloated lately. I don't know what it is. So I've been trying to like eat semi-clean since Monday. Let me tell you. It is hard. I'm like such a bored eater. Like when I'm bored, I just like start snacking. So it is really hard to not snack on like crap when you're bored. And soda, oh my gosh. I am like such a Dr. Pepper freak. Um, that's been like really hard to not drink Dr. Pepper. Yeah, so. We'll see how long I last. So far, I'm like, this is stupid. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of go over the areas that I concealed. So, right there and right there. Oh my gosh, no, Nancy. Um, vanilla Dr. Pepper is like the bomb. Oh my gosh, vanilla, like, when I have a cheat day, which will probably be Sunday, uh, vanilla Dr. Pepper from Sonic or anywhere that has like the tiny little round ice cubes, that is my jam. Like, oh, when I was pregnant, I probably had a Route 44 Sonic drink, like at least that size every single day. Like I was not playing around. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my pressed powder. I love this stuff. If I could recommend one foundation item for anybody, it would be pressed powder. And the reason is because it can definitely vary depending on how much you apply on coverage. So it can be like medium coverage if you just do like a really quick swipe all around your face. Or you can build it up and have it be super full coverage. It's really easy to apply and um, you can wear it alone. So I love, love, love this stuff. Oh my gosh, yes, Sarah. Yesterday, I wasn't having a rough day, but Easton was just like... It was ready. I was like ready for it to be bedtime. And Matt was on his way home and I was like, will you please bring me home a Dr. Pepper? And he was like, no, you told me to tell you no when you asked me this. So I'm doing what I'm told. And I was just like, please, please. And we like just went to Costco the other day and bought like my husband's favorite thing is um, having like a really stocked fridge. Um, in our garage. So we have, sorry, my nose is like super runny. We have, um, we have two fridges. We have a fridge inside in our kitchen, obviously full of like, you know, food that we eat every day for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then, um, we have a fridge in our garage. And, um, so my husband's favorite thing, like literally you guys, I'm not even over exaggerating, is going to Costco and getting like Gatorade and water and beer and soda and just like I'm not joking stocking the fridge full of drinks um, And so I was like, I just told you I wanted to start eating clean and he's like, well This is like for when we have friends over so it's been like really hard to not because I'm like my two favorite um, My two favorite like soda or pop whatever you call it options are dr. Pepper and Pepsi those are my fave so of course he bought like a 40 pack of doc of Pepsi he's like just drink a Pepsi I'm like no no the point is to not like is to not cheat and if I do cheat I'm gonna drink something I want to drink I want dr. Pepper I am like the devil when I'm pregnant you guys like I'm not even over exaggerating yeah dr. Pepper is my jam like 
when I was pregnant, I would have friends and family come over and just like bring me Dr. Pepper. They're like, here, I brought you a two liter. <laughs> Um, you can actually, you can buy them on our website, Michelle. These, um, we sell them. You can get like a two pack. You get like a big one and a little one. Um, this one specifically is from Sephora. This is like an actual beauty blender, like the brand. Um, you can also, I've never used one personally, but I know a bunch of unique presenters and like makeup beauty gurus love them. The Real Techniques sponges. You can grab those at Target for like five or six bucks. Ugh, my nose, you guys. I'm so sorry. It's so annoying. Oh. Hold on, I forgot my brush. Ooh, okay, so I'm just going in with my um, beachfront bronzer. I'm using the shade Malibu. Uh huh. That was probably it too, Rosalind. <laughs> probably wasn't a smart time to start trying to eat clean when I'm like having womanly cravings. <laughs> I love this bronzer, you guys. I just feel like bronzer does like so much for your face shape. Oh, thank you, Linnea. I hope I said your name right. I got my hair foiled or like balayaged like a, a week or so ago. Ugh, right, Megan? Even when I'm self-tanned, I'm like applying it all over my body. <laughs> I'm like, I need more. I need more self-tanner. I think eventually, I love having like, even though my hair looks black, like right here, it's actually not black. It's like the darkest brown right before black. Um, and you guys, I have had this color hair, like this color, for probably the past seven years. Seven or eight, maybe even ten. No, not ten years. I would say eight years. I've had this hair color for like eight years. Kind of on and off. Um, oh, of course you sent me more chocolate, Catherine. <laughs> I'll save it and I'll bring it with me to Utah when I go. I'll, I'll eat it on the airplane there. <laughs> um... But uh, even though I love having really dark hair, I think eventually I'm just gonna have like this color root and then it's just gonna like fade into this all over. Um, having like almost black hair is so hard because the days that you don't wear makeup, you look like so washed out. Like you have to have a little bit of a tan all year round. Yes, Nancy, I love, um, I've honestly, I've used the other shades of bronzer because they came in my presenters kit when I first signed up. Um, but once I started using, and I'm not really adding more product to this, you guys, I'm just kind of blending what I already have. Um, but I, once I used Malibu, I was like, done, done, this is it. This is my best friend. Um, so if I am talking to a customer that um, is like really, really fair and they're not like crazy about bronzer like I am, then I usually recommend Sunset. Um, but honestly, I just repurchased Malibu. Where is that bracelet from? Oh my gosh, I got this at Forever 21 like years ago. It's like a wrap bracelet. Utah, I think you should totally do an in-person consultation when you're there. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know if I'm, cause I was really wanting to like vlog when I was in Utah and I'm probably only going to vlog when I'm by myself. Like when I'm like in my hotel room or like going out to dinner. Um, just because there's not a whole lot of like pictures and videos that can be taken while I'm actually like in the corporate office. Because a lot of the stuff is like you're not allowed to talk about. So I probably won't be doing anything too crazy when I'm there. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I have a mirror like right over here. So I'm just using this.
Okay, so I just, I like to curl my eyelashes um, because I have like the world's shortest lashes. <laughs> and so it just kind of gives my mascara a little bit more length. Okay, so I think, I'm trying to decide if I wanna do like brows, eyeshadow, eyelashes. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, so I am going to use our Addiction 4 palette. You guys know I have been obsessed with this since I got it. Um, and I'm trying to find... Oh, here we go. Um, I love it for my eyes, but I also... <gasps> FedEx. Is someone delivering me a package? Um, but I also love it for my eyes. Um, I use the shade Brave. It's like this dark matte brown. I use this to fill in my eyebrows. Perfect for brunettes. And then the shade um, Arrogant. I use this in my crease like every single day. I'm obsessed. And the shade Tender is beautiful as a highlight. I'm going to be using this to highlight my face. But the shade Arrogant, this would also be really pretty for blondes or people that have like lighter hair. Um, use it to fill in your eyebrows. That would be a really pretty color because it has lots of like cool undertones in it. So it's not gonna, um, I know a lot of times blondes have a hard time finding a shade that isn't like warm for their eyebrows because you don't want your eyebrows to look red. And then I just use this MAC angled brush. I don't, I really don't know what the number is on it because it's so old, it like wiped off forever ago. I'm gonna use our precision pencil just to brush my eyebrow hairs up um, but yeah I love this palette I would say if you wanted like one go-to palette for the fall and winter grab this because it is so gorgeous and so like it's perfect it's just perfect for every day So I was like really contemplating um, getting my eyebrows microbladed because I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup lately and when I'm like out running errands and stuff and I don't have any makeup on, it just looks like really weird to like not have any eyebrows basically when you're like running around, hi Auntie Susu. Um, and so I was like, you know what? I should just go get my eyebrows microbladed. And I've been like looking at a bunch of like um, microblading artists. I don't know if they're called artists. I don't know what you call them. And then I got the email that I was chosen to model in our 2017 catalog next month. Like they really don't give you a whole lot of time, do they? Um, which is fine, but I was like, oh, okay, oh, we're doing it, okay. <laughs> so I was like, uh, I might need to wait until after the holidays. Because I was like, there's no way I am going to corporate with like flaky tattooed eyebrows trying to heal. That would be so embarrassing. <laughs> not, no, not happening. I'm just kind of making them a little bit fuller. You guys know I like love a full eyebrow. Okay, so that looks perfect. And then we will just blend that color to the center and you guys this is just eyeshadow like this is so 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 easy so easy see how easy that was finally I get to see you do your eyebrows auntie Susu if you ever come and visit I will do your I will fill in your eyebrows for you <laughs> Um, do you dip your brush in the rose water and then your eyeshadow or do you spray it on the brush? I actually, I used to use my rose water to dampen my brush before I did my eyebrows. But since I used so much of it, I felt like I was literally like burning through that rose water 
like crazy. So I actually grab, I've had this forever, but you can get it at like Ulta, Target. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. I use this to spray on my brush just because it's a lot less expensive um, and it just gets my brush wet basically. Um, they actually, Michelle, we have a brow gel that has fibers in it. Um, I don't use it because I'm not like a huge brow gel person, um, but it does have fibers in the brow gel that kind of like amps up the texture of your brows so it looks like you actually have more brow hairs. Okay, so now we are going to do this eyebrow and same thing. I just like to use this little spoolie um, and I just brush the hairs all up so that they're all in the right direction. And it's so crazy, you guys know I have like the thinnest eyebrows ever. Um, I've noticed like so much new eyebrow growth like right around here, which is kind of exciting because that means that like they're probably growing, which is like the best thing ever for me. I was so excited. I was like, do I need to go get my eyebrows threaded? I was really excited. So I'll probably do that um, like at the beginning of November. And so like I said, I just, um, I put some of the, uh, I spray some of this on my brush and then I just dip it into the shadow and then I always just kind of like squeeze the brush so that it's nice and clean. And it just makes the, um, it makes the eyeshadow a lot more pigmented and so it makes it a lot easier to like apply your makeup because you're not having to like continuously reapply product to the brush and the same thing goes for eyeshadow if you are doing your eyeshadow and you feel like you are like continuously applying more and more because you're not getting like the color payoff the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have like an eye primer that you're using before you do your eyeshadow um, you can also use like our cream eyeshadows or any sort of cream eyeshadow as a, an eye primer or like concealer and then you can just spray your brush with like a mixing medium which would be something like this or like this um, Mac sells like fix plus that's like a mixing medium as well And I mean, you don't want your eyebrows to be identical. You want to get them to match like as close as you can, but like one arch is always going to be more dramatic. One is always going to be like full, a little bit fuller. One's always going to be maybe a little bit longer. So just try to make them as close as you can, but don't like beat yourself up if they're not completely the same honestly I always think it looks kind of weird when girls have eyebrows that are like literally exactly the same you can see like this arch is always a little bit fuller than this one so I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time trying to like make them look identical I'm just gonna do the best I can yes Katie good job Look at you guys knowing your business. Okay, so now we're gonna do our eyeshadow. Um, like I said, I'm using our new Splurge Cream Shadow. It's one of our new matte shadows. We're gonna be releasing a new matte cream shadow over the next couple months. So the first one, I found the cutest shirts that fit your personality perfect. Oh, so cute. Um, I just bought eyelashes for my beauty room. I'll show you guys what my uh, wall looks like when I'm done, but I bought some for that wall, so I, th I think that'll be cute. Um, but we're going to be releasing some new matte cream shadows every uh, every month for a couple months. Last month we released um, Happy, which is like a really gorgeous kind of violet, not violet, like um, lavender taupe. And then this one is called uh, Victorious. It is available, so you can purchase it. And it's like a really gorgeous kind of like cream vanilla with like some pink undertones in it. I'm just going to apply this with my finger. It's super, super creamy, creamy and smooth. Um, you can see, see it on my finger. And they do dry to a powder finish. So if you struggle with like having oily eyelids and your eyeshadow always creases, this is gonna be awesome. Um, and this would be honestly the perfect shade to use as a eye primer. You just apply it all over your lid 
and it's nice because it is neutral enough. You see how it just kind of, um, it kind of like blurred out any extra pigment that was on my eye. So it's really going to make any eyeshadow that you apply, it's going to make it really bright because it's kind of giving you like a very neutral, clean slate to work off of. And then I'm just going to kind of blend that onto my crease. And like I said, these are really easy to work with. They are all, I think I have like maybe 12 of them. They're all super pigmented. Um, so a little bit goes a long way there. I always say that they're idiot proof. Like anybody can use these. Um, oh, you're so sweet, Auntie Susu. Thank you. They should not look identical. Okay, so like I said, I just pop some of this on my ring finger and then I just apply it. And you can see it's a little bit lighter than my eyelids, which I like because honestly, like for every day, I don't usually apply a whole lot of eyeshadow. I usually just apply like a little bit of bronzer in my crease. So this will probably be like my everyday cream eyeshadow just because it's so neutral and it'll really uh, neutralize any of those veins or any redness or anything. But yes, perfect for every day, perfect for any eyeshadow look. You could pop like a really pretty like purple eyeshadow on and it would make the purple like so bright or any bright color for that matter. So now what I'm gonna do um, is I'm going to go into my Addiction 4 palette, which I used on my brows, and I'm gonna grab this shade Arrogant. I am so obsessed with this eyeshadow, you guys. And I'm just gonna grab like an angled fluffy brush and apply some of that shadow. And then we are just going to take this and just kind of very lightly pat this into our crease. Oh my gosh, I just realized tomorrow's Friday, right? Is tomorrow Friday? Oh my gosh. This week like flew by. That is crazy. Okay, so I'm just applying some of this kind of matte camely brown shade to my crease and then I'm just going to kind of slowly start to blend it out. And this is actually making, um, that cream shadow is making this eyeshadow a lot uh, more pigmented than it normally is. Normally I have to kind of like build up to the intensity, but I like barely had to apply any product and it just like went on so dark. Isn't that pretty? Tiffany, not usually. Um, <laughs> you're so cute, Auntie Darlene. Um, I don't usually apply eyeliner. Not like top eyeliner anyway. Usually like just for every day I'll apply like a white or like a nude eyeliner to my waterline. Um, just to kind of like make my eyes pop. But yeah, normally I don't apply like a I know a lot of girls apply like a black winged liner for every day. I just feel like for myself, I feel like my features are so dramatic anyway. Like I have kind of like a larger nose. My face is like really oval. My eyebrows are really dark and dramatic. I feel like every day for me, um, a winged liner is like um, a lot. Like it's like kind of too much for me. But... There are girls on my team that wear winged liner every day and it looks so gorgeous on them. Like they look so beautiful. And then I try to do it. And typically when I do wear winged liner, I like love it. And then I'm just like not feeling it by the end of the night. <laughs> oh, thank you, Alexis. Super excited. And Anna, um, I'm not sure exactly when I go. Um, I know that it's sometime during like the beginning and or middle of November. Um, but I'm not sure when I go. 
and I'm like really nervous to talk about it because <laughs> there's like a lot of stuff that we're not allowed to talk about and we had to f file all of this like paperwork and stuff like all of like these like model um, agreements and so I'm like Ooh. I'm like nervous to talk about anything I was saying in the beginning of this live I really wanted to vlog and then um, when I read over the agreement I was like oh uh, maybe I won't vlog <laughs> maybe I'll just like um, or maybe I will vlog and then I just won't publish the vlog until the catalog gets released that would be kind of cool right behind the scenes Yeah, this is definitely like one of my favorite everyday makeup looks. I love. I love this eyeshadow. I just think it's so pretty. And like I said, I used our new, where did I put it? I used our new cream eyeshadow in the shade Victorious on my eyelids before I did my um, crease color. Um, yes, Maggie, uh, I don't know what brand we used, but the color was called Mango. So it's actually kind of like an orange, but I think since it's against my uh, like dark brownish black hair, I think it makes it look really caramely. But yeah, I love it. I used to have, if any of you guys have been like following me on Instagram or even Facebook or anything for any amount of time, I used to have um, a really pretty like ombre balayage when my hair was longer and it was this color and I loved it. It was so fun. So when I went to the hair salon, I've been seeing the same stylist for like five or six years. Uh, probably four or five years actually. Anyway, I was like, remember, remember that balayage that we did like forever ago? I want that. She was like, ooh, fun. <laughs> okay, so our eyeshadow is basically done. Um, now we're going to go in and I'm going to apply some drugstore mascara. You guys know I always apply drugstore mascara before I apply my 3D fiber mascara. And honestly, I just have really short eyelashes. And so applying like a little bit of just regular mascara and getting it like applying it really well from like the root to the lash just gives me better results but you definitely can skip this step if you already have like really thick long lashes this makeup look would be really pretty though with a winged liner Okay, so just one really quick coat. Yeah, Nancy, um, if you use our 3D fibers, then try um, just applying a little bit of regular mascara, like whatever is your favorite drugstore mascara. Try applying just one really good coat of that before you use our 3D fibers. And if you don't use our 3D fibers or our 3D fiber mascara, and I would definitely recommend to try it. That is one of the only mascaras that actually makes me look like I have long eyelashes. Okay, so I am gonna let that kind of sit before I do my 3D fiber mascara. And while that is sitting, I'm going to go in with this NYX Wonder Pencil. This is just in the shade Light. And I'm just going to apply this to my waterline. We also have a um, white eyeliner. You could use that too. Any like nude white eyeliner will work. That'll just, for every day, I really like that because it just kind of makes your eyes pop. 
Um, and then we will do, we never did blush. Okay, we will do blush. So I'm gonna wear Scandalous. I love our mineral pressed blushes. Scandalous is one of my favorite colors. It's just like the most gorgeous, kind of like very vibrant, I'd say like magenta almost. It's so pretty. Um, and honestly, it's like a brighter version of what your natural kind of like flush looks like. So I'm just going to apply that really lightly. You guys, this stuff is like so pigmented. So pigmented. And then same on the other side. And I literally don't even have to tap the brush back in the product. That's how pigmented it is. And I always like to just blend it onto my cheekbone and kind of bring it back and then just pop a little bit of that on the apples because that's where you naturally kind of get flushed anyway. And then if you applied too much, I think I applied a little bit too much. Um, you can always take your powder brush and just kind of blend it out. Any, if you have any like clean brush, you can just take a clean brush and just kind of blend it. How is my son still in there talking? Um, and then I'm going to, what was I gonna do? Oh, I'm going to take that shade um, Tender from my uh, Addiction 4 palette, and I'm just going to pop that onto my middle finger, and then I'm just going to blend that onto my cheekbone. I have been loving this as like a cheek highlight. You guys see how pretty that is? And that is probably one of the reasons why I love this palette so much is because I really feel like, like I said, it's perfect for every single day. I mean, you can use the brown shades to fill in your eyebrows. You can use the other shadows for your eyes. And then you can use this for a cheek highlight. Easton is literally in his room laughing right now. <laughs> okay. So now um, we are going to work on our lips. Like I said, I'm going to be using one of our new liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade um, Spontaneous. Yeah, Spontaneous. I'm going to first line my lips with... Let me grab my sharpener. I'm going to line my lips with one of our precision lip pencils and this is in the shade pompous this is like my favorite lip liner out of all of our lip liners it's just a really pretty kind of like purpley plum and I really like I don't know if you guys saw um, I did like a lip liquid lipstick like tips and tricks like how to video but I really have been loving um, lining my lips before I do my liquid lipstick. I feel like my hair looks weird now. Um, just because I feel like it kind of gives me like a guideline to fill my lips in with and it helps prevent like bleeding and stuff during the day from your liquid lipstick. So I'm just going to line my lips. And I'm not really like over drawing my lips. A little, not really a whole lot though.
Okay. So I really like, like I said, just lining my lips with a lip liner before doing my liquid lipstick because I feel like, you know when you're little and you um, color and you like outline before you color? I feel like it makes it easier. And then I always kind of like wipe off a bunch of the extra product. So like I said, this is in the shade Spontaneous. I haven't worn this like for a whole day. I've swatched it though. So pretty. Honestly, this is like the same exact shade. Maybe a little bit more purple, but it's almost the same shade as Pompous. And I really feel like with these liquid lipsticks, less is more. That's why I really like to wipe off the product before I apply it because then I feel like I'm not applying too much. And then whatever I like scraped off, I just will kind of like grab a little bit more of that um, when I'm working on the next lip. What is the difference between a lip stain and a liquid lipstick? Hold on. <laughs> Easton is like chatting away in there. Perfect, how pretty is that? And then I always, especially when I'm wearing like a really dark um, lip, I like to just like the finger rule. Okay, so Danya, the difference between a lip stain and a liquid lipstick, um, not only is the lip stain going to be less pigmented than a liquid lipstick, the formula is also more of like a gel consistency where the liquid lipstick is, it literally feels like a liquid lipstick. It's super creamy. It's very velvety. The lip stain is literally smudge proof, like bulletproof, does not come off your lips. It is staining your lips until that night when you wash your face and you like scrub your lips off, then it'll be gone. Whereas a liquid lipstick, I could go take a baby wipe and I could just wipe this off or a makeup wipe and it would come right off. So with a lip stain, it isn't going to, like you could kiss your hand and nothing would come off. You could kiss your baby and nothing would come off. You can eat and nothing is gonna transfer. A liquid lipstick, um, I would say after a couple minutes when I kiss my hand, not a whole lot is going to come off. So it's going to be kind of like a very happy medium between a, li uh, a lip stain and a lipstick. It's going to be right in the middle. Um, so you're really not going to have to worry about reapplying it during the day. This is going to last all day long. Um, but a little bit will transfer, like if I'm eating or kissing or, you know, whatever. Um, but it is so pigmented, so creamy. It definitely doesn't have the tendency to like cling to dry patches of, of skin on your lips quite like a lip stain does. Um, they're just amazing. So this is the shade um, Superstitious. Superstitious. I keep forgetting. Spontaneous. This is the shade Spontaneous and I paired it with our lip liner in the shade Pompous. Love this lip combo. Um, so I'm going to give it a little bit of time to dry um, and kind of soak and saturate into my skin. If lip stain had a baby with lipstick. Yes, <laughs> that's a perfect way to describe it. So I'm gonna use our um, transplanting gel. This is one of the two tubes that you'll get when you order your fiber mascara. I lost it and I couldn't find it. And then <laughs> I organized my makeup room last night or yesterday and I found it. Weird, right? So with your transplanting gel, you basically just apply this like a mascara. Um, it is super dark, super black, very creamy. Uh, so honestly, it's just like a mascara, except that it is formulated specifically for these fibers. And so the fibers are going to adhere to your transplanting gel a lot better than they would if you were just using like a regular mascara. 
Um, also, our transplanting gel is um, formulated with our Uplift uh, serum. And so you're gonna get all of that nutrients and like nourishing vitamins and stuff kind of saturated back into your eyelashes. So now I'm using my fibers. And fibers are basically kind of like a black cottony substance that clings to the transplanting gel, almost like the transplanting gel is glue. And the fibers make your lashes kind of extend and look longer. Now you wanna give your fibers like a couple minutes to dry before you seal them with your transplanting gel, but you do not want to forget to seal them. So it's a three step, <laughs> do you guys hear Easton? He's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> it is a three step process. So it's transplanting gel, fibers, transplanting gel. And you can do as many coats and apply this as many times as your little heart desires. But I will recommend to give your lashes a little bit of time to really dry before you do, you know, too many coats of this. I always like to apply a little bit to the top part of my lashes. Um, Cause I just feel like that kind of helps thicken them up. So if you have really thin eyelashes, just do a quick swipe on the top part of your lashes, like close your eyes and do a quick swipe. And that'll really help like thicken up your lashes. And I always try to like roll the back or roll the fiber wand on the back of my hand um, because the fibers can be kind of crazy sometimes and like get everywhere, especially when you order a new bottle or a new set. These are old fibers. I don't know where my new ones went. Okay, so I'm just gonna let those kind of dry. While those are drying, I always like to save a couple of my makeup steps so that I can like work on other parts of my makeup and I'm not just like wasting time. So I'm using our Unique Mineral Concealer. I'm so obsessed with this stuff. I think this is completely underrated. I know so many um, Unique presenters that are like, what, you use that stuff? I'm like, you don't? What, what's going on, why? <laughs> um, so I use the shade Fresh. And I just apply it on a e.l.f. blush brush. I really like that it comes to a point so I can like really get up in that corner. And then I just very lightly dust it underneath my eyes. And you guys, this is like an Instagram filter in a powder form, I promise you. Same thing on my chin. So basically everywhere that I applied my highlight, so that concealer, how do you... How do you fix it if you get the mascara on your eyelid while applying? Um, Tara, let the mascara dry and you can actually just kind of flake it off with like a spoolie, so something like this, or just like take your nail and kind of flake it off or take like a Q-tip and just kind of flake it off. Again, we just apply it to the brush and then tap it off with um, this powder. This is gonna have kind of the same rule as your um, liquid lipstick. Less is more. I know you get really excited when you do your makeup and you see the results and how amazing it is and you wanna keep applying it. Don't. A little bit goes a really, really long way. Okay, so now I'm going to take just a little bit of my um, concealer and I'm going to pop this in the center of my lips. And that'll just kinda of give me like a really pretty pouty effect. I do this all the time. I don't know if I've done it with a liquid lipstick yet. How pretty is that though? Again, this is um, spontaneous. I wanna make sure I'm telling you guys the right color. <laughs> spontaneous with pompous and some concealer. And I love that my lips feel like super 
hydrated. They don't feel dry or anything, which I love. How pretty. I love that. Okay, so pretty. It's definitely very messy, so make sure you have like a baby wipe or something. Okay, so now we are going to go back in with that uh, transplanting gel and we are going to seal those fibers. Easton is like not happy. Oh no, I got it in my hair. It's okay. But yeah, you definitely want to make sure that you apply a really good coat of your transplanting gel. And if you guys have really short eyelashes like I was telling you I do, I use our Uplift Beauty Serum at night and I apply it all, where did that go? I apply it all over, how did this happen? I apply it all over my um, eyelid, like my under eyes, and then I apply it to my lashes too. And I've noticed that it's really helped um, my eyelashes, like it's helped stimulate eyelash growth, which is always a good thing. So like I said, the transplanting gel, you really want to work it from the root to the ends of your lashes. And this will really help ensure that those fibers like do not move during the day. If you get any fallout from your fibers, you can just sweep them away with like a brush or whatever. And then we are just going to apply this to our lower lashes. And if you guys have ever used a mascara and it like transferred all over your eyelids and your lower lids during the day, this stuff doesn't do that. So that was one of the reasons why I really, really liked it and fell in love because I always had to use a different mascara on my lower lashes that I knew was gonna like dry and it wasn't gonna get all over the place and get like messy like that L'Oreal telescopic mascara that I used in the beginning I could not use it on my lower lashes and then you can definitely do a couple more coats but you want to make sure that you kind of give your eyelashes a little bit of time to dry before you apply too many. So I'm just gonna go in, I kind of always go in with a little bit more bronzer when I'm done, just because I'm like so addicted to our bronzer. I'm so obsessed! And then just like apply it on your neck and stuff. And then if you um, messed up your liquid lipstick while you were applying it, just grab a brush. You could grab like, this is our uh, cream shadow brush. You could grab a little bit of concealer, just apply that to the back of your hand right there. And this is our cream shadow brush. And you just kind of grab a little bit of that concealer, a little, this is super pigmented, and you can just kind of clean up. Honestly, I almost always do this when I'm wearing a really dark or a really bright lipstick because none of us are perfect especially makeup artists makeup artists aren't perfect you'll see makeup artists cleaning up after themselves all the time when they're doing makeup been there and then I always just like to take whatever was left over of that concealer And I like to use it on my um, 
eyebrows just to kind of clean them up because again if you're a mama and your babies are running around and you never get to do your makeup in peace you're probably gonna have to clean up some things about your makeup when you're done <laughs> or if you're doing your makeup on Facebook live and you're talking and it's a hot mess okay so now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of rose water and I'm just gonna spray this all over my face this will seal my makeup so it doesn't move all day oh, and it feels so good and I just kind of let that it also kind of um, makes your face like makes your makeup look a little bit more dewy so if you like put way too much foundation on and you got done doing your makeup and you're like oh I look a little cakey spray a little bit of rose water all over your face and you'll notice um, that it just kind of like refreshes your makeup and makes it look really good okay guys so this is the finished look my rose water got a little out of control on my forehead um, how pretty is that though? It's like really overcast, so it's kind of um, washing me out, so it's hard to kind of see. But so pretty. You can see I got a little bit of fibers on my eyelid. I'll clean that up with some eyeshadow. And then this lip, so pretty. And then I'll show you guys um, how I arranged my wall. So you can see I put the sign and the N right there. And then I think I'm gonna get like a really pretty gold hanger for that, like on Etsy, and then move that down a little bit. And I got some really cute black wooden eyelashes that I'm gonna put up there. And then right over there. So pretty, I love it. But um, I gotta go give a little guy his pacifier and rinse this black mascara out of my hair. <laughs> Bye guys.